going on, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well, hope you're safe, hope you're good. So I copped the Atoria Key Lab Essential 49 keys. Needed to upgrade my keys, the ones I've been using. Keys are getting a bit yellow. I've rinsed them, played it to death. Plus I wanted a white keyboard and also wanted some new sounds. The Key Lab comes with an Anug Lab. And I've heard some good stuff about it. So today's video, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing, register it, and then play it. See what it sounds like, see how it feels. Before we do that though, let me shout out my two new subscribers. So shout out Dwell Beats and Megan Buys. Thank you both for subscribing, I appreciate that. If you'd have hit the notification bell, you would see your shout out today, so hopefully you've done that. Best comment for this week's coming from RK. Bro, that's what this channel's about. Giving gems, helping you and others where I can, so you can be the best at what you do. Enough of that, let's dive into this video. So, got the Artoria 49 Keys Essential. Key lab, it's the box it comes in. Straight away, you, you can see what you're getting in the box, but then you need to see, but we need to feel what the quality is like, and I need to see whether or not it'll fit in my, in my, in my space where my old MIDI controller was. All right, so let's see what we've got inside. So it's well protected, which is good. No banging around. Nice little bits of foam on the ends and in the middle. Keep it safe. Feels quite light. It's not a portable one. It's not one you could put in your rucksack and be mobile with. Obviously, with. If that's your setup, you're gonna need less keys. I've got a video talking about keys and how to choose MIDI controllers. So yeah, check that one out if you haven't seen that already. Now that looks amazing. Feels amazing. Keys, spanking white, like my old keyboard. The keys have gone yellow, so it's time. It was definitely time for an upgrade. This here, the feel. There's foam here in the keys, so I can't press the keys at the moment, but I will. But first impressions, on point. I might even start using the pads to make drum patterns. They, they feel nice. They got like a, like a soft feel to them, but they also feel sturdy as well they feel sturdy at the back we've got the mains output usb pull sustain pedal and midi out so if you're using external midi equipment then that's for you i don't need that i don't use that strictly in the box midi is all i need oh yeah you've got the the full wood panels on the end there give it that extra sleekness let's see what else we've got in the box but that there is very sleek. So in the box we've got MIDI cable. I don't think I'm gonna bother with this one because I've already got mine set up from my, my last keyboard. So I don't need to use that, but I keep it safe. It's always good to have spare cables. Then we've got registration pack. Hey, this comes with some decent sounds. So I'm excited to see what the, the sounds are saying. Hopefully they're good enough for using in my beats. I've heard the piano the grand piano and that sounds sweet so I'm excited to heal and start using that one back to the MIDI controller they've got like a cellophane thing in here normally I don't like to take them things off I'll leave them on but you can't play the keys if that's on there so that makes no sense to leave it on Let's take these foams up They actually feel all right. They feel better than the, the last ones. These these keys feel good. Mm. 
Yeah, just as I thought. The keys are semi-weighted. Let's see if it fits in, my, in the space that my old keyboard was. My old MIDI controller. Perfect, fits absolutely perfect in the same spot. I, I thought, I knew it would. It seems smaller than my last keyboard, which what I'll show you now. This one is now in the collection, gonna be catching dust. As you can see the keys, I don't know if you can see that, but the keys have gone like a yellowy tinge color. So yeah, not looking good. But the Toria fits perfect. It looks, looks at home. Quickly register this, get some sounds in and see what it's like to play. So after all that, I managed to download and install all the necessary plugins to get this working. There was firmware to download, there was registrations to do for both the Keylab MIDI controller plus the grand piano, which is what I wanted to play so that you can hear, hear the sound of it. Bit of a workaround to get the UVI workstation going. So I couldn't find a serial for the grand piano. So where it was is when you go to register the Keylab Essential, in your My Products page, there's a little drop down arrow. So when you click the drop down arrow, it will have the serial number for the grand piano, which I didn't realize. It took me ages to find it. Finally got it, registered that. All in all, that would probably take about an hour, maybe a bit more. So yeah, just be prepared to take a little bit of time in downloading everything and registering all the necessary products and serials. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like. I'm not gonna go through all the different analog lab sounds and synths because there's just too many in there. They've got a demo version, so download that, test it out for yourself, see what you think. So just a quick overview on what the Keylab 49 is coming with. You've got, obviously you've got the keys, standard size keys, semi-weighted. So they've got a nice feel to them. Starting from the left, you've got your chord button. Press that, play your chord, hold it. And you can just use one key to play your chords. I'll do a video on that, I'm not gonna do that today. You've got your pitch, pitch control, mod wheel, your pitch wheel. And then moving up, we've got your map select and MIDI channels. Once the Artoria is set up and ready to be controlling software within your door. Over here you've got the pads, as I said earlier, they've got like a like a velvety feel to them. I've never used an NPC, so I can't compare it to an NPC. For me, these feel a lot better than an Ovation. Moving on, you've got the door command center. This is your transport section. Stop, play, record, the usual stuff. Save, undo, punch, the metronome. Then in the center, you've got a nice little backlit blue LED screen, tell you what you're controlling. As I said, once that's all set up, you can see what you're controlling in this little area here, which is cool. I'm gonna do a video on how to map it, so make sure you stay tuned and keep an eye out for that video. Here you've got nine control pots, so you can control the different parameters inside your software. Same with the sliders. For those who like the hands-on experience of controlling your software, or even when you're mixing, then you can assign the faders to control each parameter. These are all nicely labeled so you can see what parameter you're actually affecting so you cut off your resonance, your attack, decay, your sustain and release, which is the ADSR. Super cool. Yeah, definitely looking forward to making some new beats in this. It's crazy how little things like this can just inspire you to want to create, get you in that creative zone. The keys feel sweet. The sounds are sweet. That piano is nice. I like how that sounds. Definitely, definitely putting that in some of my new productions. Got a couple of custom beats that I'm finishing off, so so you will be hearing some of them sounds in there. I like it. 100% happy with the purchase. If you like this video at all, hit the like button. Any questions you want to ask me, any video suggestions, hit me up in a DM on Insta or drop a comment below.
hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.